Well, hello everyone, my name is Prime, and welcome back to this episode of ATS Showcases, and today I am here in Glendiver, just outside of it, and we're going to be heading down to Laurel today, so it's a fairly long delivery, but I want to check out this eastern side of Montana here, and I think this delivery will do that quite well. Overall, it seems to be a bit of highway, but for today I've decided to go with the day cab configuration of the 57X. Love it or hate it, you know what, it's actually a pretty good truck, and it is the newest one in the game, so I will not complain. And we've got our ownable... Uh, tanker trailer here on today because we're at gallon we're hauling crude oil uh, all the way down there to laurel so i think it's going to be a great delivery and we might as well get going because we've got quite a bit of ground to cover here hopefully everyone is doing well happy official montana release to everyone as you can tell there's no more early access banner on the top of your screen i am recording this on launch day of the official dlc and yes it is great to have the official launch of the montana dlc and playing the official Official version so no more uh kind of I guess warning of you know you could see some weird things as far as i am aware everything is nice and butter smooth and i to be honest didn't actually notice anything weird um with the montana dlc in early access but uh, nonetheless it is great to have the official dlc here and ready for everyone i guess that car is uh, just waiting for us there so we're just gonna go ahead and pull out of here i can't remember actually how much weight is in this trailer Sixty-one thousand pounds oh that is the wrong button Oh, you gotta love it when you mess up your key bindings. 61,000 pounds of crude oil. That is actually a fair bit. But saying that, this is a massive trailer. Of course, I went with the most basically all out uh, version of the tanker trailer here uh, just a single today because we used the double in the first uh, one of the I guess it was the first look at 1.45 or one of the videos in the 1.45 update used the double version of this uh, ownable tanker slash cistern trailer and I wanted to do the single trailer and so I decided to go with the biggest one with the steerable axle at the back and so that's what I've decided to do. But welcome to Glendive, everyone. It is actually quite a nice place. And just like a lot of the other places in Montana, I gotta get over here. Um, it's a really lovely place to visit. And I'm just cutting across the lanes like no tomorrow. Not paying attention to where I'm driving at all. But big shock there, prime driving. Um, but yeah, it is lovely to be going around these different areas and just seeing what they have to offer. All the detail around this DLC, what I've seen so far is just truly really incredible. For those who haven't seen my early access video, you may want to check that out, albeit there were some things that went wrong in that video. Uh, also, and I don't think I actually put a, pin, a comment there um, on the video itself. But I actually experienced some audio lagging slash glitching uh, in the recording. Something I haven't experienced for quite some time. And I think Audacity just had a bit of a mental breakdown on me. Uh, and when I was recording it, and of course I can't really tell um, it just based off the waveform, but it was jar kind of jarbling, I guess is the best way to say it. It really, that's not a good descriptive word of it all and probably very confusing. Basically, it just messed up my audio in section. So there were a couple places where I just had to mute it and just kind of let the cinematics do its thing. Uh, you know what? It actually turned out quite well, uh, all things considered. And I kind of, I can't remember if I actually did put anything in the video for that. I don't think I actually did. Uh, but so maybe you noticed it. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you just liked the fact that I stopped talking for a little bit. You know what? Once again, each to each their own there. Um, but nonetheless, I really did enjoy having early access to the DLC. Basically, the DLC, uh, I didn't get it, you know, real, like, I guess early on. I, some creators got it earlier than others. Um, there's a whole system for that, and I'm not going to go into that because that is not my place and time to be doing that. It's all random anyways. Uh, but nonetheless, I still got early access. I was very happy uh, to get early access and very grateful um, to have early access uh, from SEO software. So once again, huge shout out to them. They are absolute legends. Um, but it was a little bit of a whole to do to get that video up. And for those who were wondering, um, it was kind of at a time I've never uploaded before. Um, if you're it over it kind of, I, I guess it's kind of hard because there's so many different time zones uh, across North America. Uh, but it, I, I uploaded it at a time that I just never upload videos before. And um, I was actually quite surprised how well the video did. Um, so some of you, I gonna, I'm gonna apologize because odds are uh, some of my videos uh, that, that are more normal. I try to do it so overall it's not just coming, uh, being released in the middle of the night for people. Saying that, I, I can't really stop that. Ultimately, somewhere, if if you're from a region that's opposite to here in North America. 
you probably are going to have um, some of my uploads <laughs> be overnight just depending on where you are uh, so but I, I was actually honestly a little surprised at how well the video did considering um, it was at a time that I just normally never knew it so uh, thank you to everyone who watched it and hopefully the video didn't start out in 360p um, there is a big issue with processing on that video big shock there uh, I could have been actually out more normal launch time um, just prior to the day of release um, but big old uh, good old YouTube processing and occasional um, just kind of slowing down of the 1080p version at least and that's all I really try and get to sometimes uh, for these videos it will render all the way through to 1440 no problem and be just fine others uh, it's just uh, it, it, it's just the whole thing and uh, yeah now something I did notice is that someone said uh, and I saw it on a comment that the Western Star 57x actually has blind spot monitoring now I do not know where that shows up and if that's on the driver's side or if it's on the passenger side it may be only on the passenger side uh, so I want to actually test this out oh never mind I'm not going to test it out there's a car there um, I don't actually don't know how that really works and if it's on this model or if there's um, but I saw somewhere in a comment um, somewhere on some video that's really descriptive of me isn't it um, I don't know if it's on the mirror or if it's on um, if, it, if it's on the pillar here, the A pillar or the A frame pillar, I don't know where it is. Um, but apparently there's actually blind spot monitoring. There's like a little indicator uh, that shows up when a car passes. So I'll have to keep an eye out for that and keep an eye out in the video if you happen to see it. I don't know if it's on the driver's side or if it's only on the passenger side. So if you happen to know, let me know. Uh, that, that really makes a lot of sense, does it? But look at this. Montana highways. Well, you know what? It... Some would say that it looks kind of similar to some of the other highways we've seen. I would tend to disagree with you respectfully uh, because this is quite a diverse area here. Uh, now, you know, it's pretty open and that's really something neat about Montana, but it just feels so realistic. The spacing of when you're driving around, you know, it's it's very much North American highway uh, and, how, and how it feels and just kind of straight and kind of just go for it as, as basically a mentality there uh, so it's actually quite unique in that sense and I'm actually very excited uh, to explore more of the DLC now you may, well, may be wondering why in the world uh, did I not go to you know the Yellowstone National Park and those mountainous areas for this episode well long story short I was planning on it and then I realized that I wanted to use this tanker trailer and then I quickly realized after that that I could not actually get a delivery uh, going towards the Cruising Montana event, which I am doing in this video. Uh, this is actually going to be my first delivery, counting towards two cities of that event. I couldn't actually uh, get any jobs from anywhere around there. I mean, up to some of you, well, I, to be honest, it's not that big of a surprise because it depends on what town you're going from. There actually are quite a few towns in Montana that have the ability to have oil or at least flammable fuel deliveries for these ownable tanker trailers uh, it's just a matter of how long a delivery you want and if you want to stay in montana that was something for this video that i was just being very nitpicky with uh, and i actually ended up of course going uh, over here to glen dive and then uh, being able to get one down to laurel both of them have a uh, chemical or um, some form of fuel production plant or kind of d distribution center uh, built in which is kind of neat uh, but nonetheless, it is just one of those things that, uh, for generally speaking, when you're not trying to do a kind of more planned out video in the sense of time and um, not trying to have it too, too long, but not having it too short as well, like for this video, you may notice that it's going to be a bit more of a normal, whatever my normal episode length is, but a little bit more lo longer than some of the last ones that I've had. It is... It's just nice to for me to try and find those certain deliveries just for the sake of my video production. Something that a lot of you wouldn't have to think about. So don't worry, there are quite a few areas around the map DLC for these, I guess you could say more specialty trailers. Uh, trailers. Obviously you're going to have plenty of deliveries to choose from on the box trailer and flatbed uh, configurations. That's a given just about across and anywhere and in real life as well. But don't worry, you, you will find areas across the Montana DLC for the other trailers. Uh, it's just you may have to, well, either get lucky with what jobs are available, 
or just keep looking uh, if you really want to stick to some of the areas and if you really only run with a certain type of trailer for example a tanker trailer um, you probably will have to expect that you're going to be mainly hopping between a few areas in Montana if you're trying to stay within Montana. If you're wanting to go outside the state, there's plenty of options, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, but for the sake of shorter videos, but not being just a little puddle jumper basically, oh, either within a town or to a very close neighboring town, uh, you're going to have a, a, not necessarily trouble, but you're going to have to get pretty lucky. I was very fortunate to find this delivery and uh, boy oh boy was I happy to do so uh, for the sake of this video. Uh, but it is really nice to kind of just do some highway driving, kind of put this 57X to what it's actually intended for, more highway driving, um, not necessarily, uh, I guess, brute. This is kind of the, this is very much for this date cab, what I'm trying to say. This is very much the stereotypical um, use case for it, just a tanker trailer or some form of standard trailer hauling some goods. It's all that good stuff there. You know, love it or hate it, the 57X is actually I what I feel to be a quite balanced truck, and I do prefer, I, I do really like it. Now, you know, some people feel that it's not necessarily uh, the most innovative, I guess you could say, considering what the Freightliner Cascadias are, what the 49X is, but I do like the styling of the 57X. And, I mean, you can't get around some of the I guess carryover features between some of the other Daimler trucks uh, that's just a given but I actually am just really happy to have another truck in the fleet and it gives you more options uh, it is a really cool truck um, and everyone has their own opinion so please be respectful uh, for both Western Star and uh, for the sake of others in the comment section or around YouTube in that in that sense um, everyone's opinion is valid and feel free to comment what you like uh, but you don't roast someone or whatever just after they put their opinion just because you have a strong opinion on one thing or another that applies for the truck you like or any other thing that you could say in youtube comments i want the comment section in uh, on this channel to remain as it is right now a very very clean and respectful place you guys are truly incredible at maintaining that i do very very little um admin work i guess you could say or moderation on our comment section there is um, basically anything i remove is spam there is no i i have very very little um experience with i guess you could call it uh with having to remove uh, just nasty comments of um just really nonsense uh that is that's i've never had any issues uh with that there's only been a couple uh that were almost on the verge of spam which i later found out that they kind of ish were uh it's kind of a complicated ordeal but i won't get into that nonetheless you guys are amazing love it or hate it the the 57x is a really cool truck now i might as well get on to the cruising montana event now i was going to do it a little earlier in the video but i did kind of get on a little bit of a side tangent there it's actually a pretty interesting cruising um event in the terms of the deals in the terms of dlc releases for the maps so for the cruising montana event you have to deliver to or from um 12 of the 15 cities so you don't have to actually go to all of them which is a kind of more unique thing generally uh, there have been you've had to go to all of them where you'd have to go to all of the cities now saying that there are 15 cities compared to sometimes just 12 on some of the other dlcs um so it's nice to see that you don't have to go to all of them for the sake of, uh, I guess, getting it done earlier. I believe it's late September is when the um, Cruising Montana event will end, but stereotypically the events are extended um, just over time. So uh, don't worry if, if you can't get to it right away or if you're on the fence of getting the Montana DLC, uh, don't you worry. You'll still have plenty of time. Uh, oh, we got to pull in for a way station here. I guess this is going to be something that we're going to have to do quite a bit here on the Montana DLC as we uh, get used to, or as I say get used to, as we explore uh, the DLC itself, we're going to come across quite a few new areas. Let's listen to the engine break. I don't think it's going to be much. Yeah, that's what I thought. Similar to the other uh, trucks uh, that run this engine, 
Uh, not too surprised about that, but you know, it's not the worst. It's not designed to be kind of brute engine sound. Uh, that's my best way of explaining it. Basically, it's not supposed to be a W900. That's yeah, simple. 95,000 pound weight. Oh, that is a heavy load. And if you happen to have keen eyes, I'm probably just pointing this out. So I'm throwing myself under the bus. Um, yeah, if you happen to notice that there is slight damage to the truck, don't worry about that. I totally didn't accidentally teleport to an area without putting myself closer to the ground and have the truck fall a fair decent amount onto the ground. Surprisingly not damaging it too much. Um, yeah, I normally don't, I normally don't have issues with that, but I just, um, I had issues. Not gonna lie, it, um, I misclicked there and, uh, I dropped the truck from a good amount off the ground. Damaged it a little bit, but it's only like 4% damage or something like that. And the trailer's, I think, only 2% or so. Uh, so a little bit of an error there, but eh, it's an ATS showcase. It's not like it's that big of a deal. And plus, I wouldn't be, uh... I, I wouldn't be teleporting in a, like, for example, one of my Prime Logistics series uh, at all, because that would not be realistic whatsoever. Um, but look at this. We're exiting here, and it looks like we're getting close. We must be coming into Laurel now, um, which is very, very neat. The, the video's coming along quite well, and actually gone fairly smoothly, I have to say. It's a big shock there, and I'm going to jinx myself, but you know what? We're going to keep rolling with that. Um, but I... Really, with this, uh, what I was getting to was the, I guess I never actually did finish the cruising Montana event. I think, anyways, let's sum it up real quick before I forget and before we finish the video. So, cruising Montana, you have to do 12, deliver to or for, from 12 of the cities. Each delivery using either the external market or external cargo market, when, whatever one you choose, must be done um, with deliveries over. Uh, 100 miles and then whenever you complete your deliveries um, and visit to or, or deliver to and from any of those uh, cities that you choose from of the 15 uh, you will get a personal reward which is a uh, a, a new skin I do believe uh, for the truck or f for your trucks and then the community goal is like some hanging item I, maybe I got that crossed up but that's sort of what it is. I know I'm cheating. I hate blindside reverses with a passion. Oh, I, there's actually a window at the back. Maybe I can leverage that a little bit. Saying that, um, I've severely overcooked it and trying not to jackknife this thing. Oh, and there's a trailer there. Oh, this isn't good. It's not good at all. C could I have swung around this facility or do I have to just give this another try at a better angle? be also not quite sure. We're going to try from here and see what I can do. Got to get it turned in. The back window is actually quite a handy thing to have. Okay, that's a bit better. Got to let her keep turning. The steerable axle is going to really save us here, I think. Uh, we got plenty of room. Let's slow her down a bit. Try and get this go... Oh, we're overcorrecting there a little bit. Okay, now we've got ourselves around. I think we can come to this side. I think even if we pull out a bit, I, I know I probably just uh, I, I just undid a bunch of good progress, but I prefer non-blindside reverses for the sake of my sanity. So we're gonna try and cut this in and bring it, start bringing it back, and we're gonna have to chase it here. I think. Yeah, that's looking better. I'm just concerned about the building on that side. It's going to be very close. Very, very close. It was very close. But I think we actually made it. Couple jabs at it. But we made it. Look at that. What a reversing spot. That was actually very neat. Uh, and I actually like that a lot. And we got very close to the back there. But hey ho. Thank you all so much for watching. What an episode. I'm just going to shut off the truck here. Just make sure everything turns off. I don't want to end the delivery now, my friend. What a delivery. What a DLC. I mean, I am a huge fan of the Montana DLC so far. I've only done a couple episodes now on it. Um, but I am so happy to be here. So happy to have 
the official release dropped uh, so then we can do as much exploring well I could do as much exploring as I wanted to anyways but it's great for everyone to have the Montana DLC available uh, for purchase that is and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video I certainly enjoyed making it so thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one <laughs>